one of the presently prominent physicists, Michio Kaku, has discussed his assessment of this issue. Kaku, known for his remarkable contributions to the field of physics, has recently acknowledged that the James Webb Space Telescope has discovered six massive cosmic systems that researchers once thought couldn't exist. These findings have the potential to open up new perspectives in our understanding of the universe, making it fascinating and worth observing for these changes. Kaku, a distinguished figure in the scientific community and a physicist of American and Japanese heritage, is regarded as an expert in both traditional experimental physics and quantum mechanics. Unlike more conservative and skeptical researchers, Kaku has been open to the astonishing new findings of the James Webb Space Telescope mission. We are fortunate that this esteemed researcher has decided to speak out and share what can no longer be denied. The excitement and enthusiasm of this renowned physicist are evident in his remarks on the discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope, as this discovery has been the highlight sparking his interest. Join us as we explore the implications of Mito Kaku's disclosure of these six gigantic cosmic systems. Kaku, throughout his life, has always been able to consider new theories. He recognizes that Einstein's theories of relativity and Newton's laws are insufficient to capture the universe's full complexity. He believes that the discoveries from the new telescope could potentially advance the scientific field, though many of his peers have yet to adopt this view. This causes both concern and restlessness among defenders and critics of quantum mechanics, though Kaku finds it amusing. The JWST uncovered six massive universes dating back to the universe's earliest epochs. Each of these grand systems has more stars than our own, despite forming only a short time after the Big Bang. The team of cosmologists who made this discovery has named these magnificent systems Universe Breakers, as their presence could reshape our entire understanding of the universe. Something here no longer aligns with the Big Bang theory, which posits that the universe was chaotic after the initial event, with solid objects forming hundreds of millions of years later, reaching sufficient density and producing light. The development of complex structures like galaxies should have occurred much later. Some of the newly discovered systems exceed the Milky Way in size, and their immense brightness suggests they likely formed many new stars annually, unlike our galaxy, which forms stars sporadically. The exact time the first galaxies formed remains unclear. Scientists couldn't pinpoint this until recently, but initially, only single stars or groups of stars may have existed, eventually merging to form progressively larger structures, leading to dwarf galaxies that merged and evolved as prior theories predicted. Such incredibly massive galaxies shouldn't have existed at that early stage, raising the question of whether the universe is older than previously thought or if complex structures formed earlier than anticipated. This presents a challenge for conventional science, which struggles with this model. Some areas of physics have rejected the discovery, pointing to potential age calculation errors, but Kaku acknowledged this, remarking that older, misleading theories often persist due to certain researchers' prominence, only to be disproven by fundamental research revealing their inaccuracies. On Earth, we have virtually no direct information about the universe's origins. The Big Bang Theory, formulated in 1927 based on the universe's expansion observations, led to the conclusion that the universe began from a single point and has been expanding. At that time, it was challenging for people, including scientists, to envision a universe with a beginning and end. A universe that always existed and was infinite was beyond human imagination. Even today, scientists struggle with this concept. It's crucial to reassess these possibilities, as these new insights don't align with what scientists have relied on in the Big Bang Theory. But science has shown that re-evaluation and openness to groundbreaking ideas are vital components of scientific progress, just as much as verifying specific theories and observations. When Einstein was young, stars and planets were believed fixed in the universe, occupying specific spaces. We now understand that everything is in motion. Planets orbit, stars move within galaxies, and entire galaxies move quickly through space. Today, scientists face the challenge of accepting these unexpected findings, realizing theories aren't just assumptions or truths until thoroughly tested and validated. The Big Bang concept emerged from the finding that galaxies move apart with their distance relative to Earth, known as Hubble's Law, indicating an expanding universe. 
cosmic microwave background radiation, redshifts in light from distant galaxies, and other structures seem to support this theory. However, it's important to recall that past beliefs, like a flat Earth or a Sun orbiting Earth, once had evidence that seemed convincing until advancements clarified a more accurate picture. Currently, we see a similar scenario. Scientists expected the JWST to confirm Big Bang assumptions, but instead, they encountered six systems appearing far too advanced for their age. This reminds us that science continually evolves, and scientists must remain open to new discoveries and re-evaluate theories based on new evidence. Researchers use redshift, the change in light color as the source and observer move relative to each other, to determine specific universe measurements. When a light source moves toward us, the light shifts blue. When it moves away, it shifts red, known as redshift. Small measurement errors can have major implications. Thus, some question whether these results stem from redshift errors or experts denying the facts, a question requiring careful data review. As scientific exploration advances, instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope frequently challenge our universe assumptions. The discovery of six massive systems dating to early universe stages defies traditional galaxy formation hypotheses, prompting questions about the universe's timeline and development of large structures. As a Hubble replacement, the James Webb Space Telescope, with cutting-edge technology, allows scientists to peer deeper into space with unmatched clarity, providing a view of galaxies that formed billions of years ago. These ancient, massive galaxies complicate existing models that predict such structures should have formed later in the universe's history. This discovery's implications reach beyond astronomy into fundamental physics, urging scientists to reconsider theories about the universe's early phases, such as its beginning from a single point and subsequent expansion. While evidence like cosmic microwave background radiation and distant galaxies' redshifts initially supported this hypothesis, the discovery of galaxies appearing too evolved for their age complicates the narrative. Mito Kaku, a noted physicist in theoretical physics and popular science, has commented on these developments. Known for connecting complex scientific ideas with public understanding, Kaku sees the JWST findings as profoundly impactful. Unlike his skeptical colleagues, he welcomes the idea that groundbreaking observations should drive scientific revision, stressing that theories must adapt to new information. This debate reflects science's dynamic nature. Some argue the discovery of early large galaxies suggests a longer cosmic development timeline, challenging the view that galaxies evolved gradually. Others urge caution, suggesting data interpretation anomalies or measurement errors could explain surprising findings. In key investigations, redshift, observed in distant galaxies' light, plays a critical role. Redshift values, translated to speed and distance, help scientists model galaxy evolution and distribution in the universe. The JWST's ability to detect faint infrared signals allows it to observe galaxies otherwise obscured by early universe dust and gas. This is essential for studying star and galaxy formation during the universe's infancy, known as the cosmic dawn. By analyzing light from distant galaxies, astronomers trace the early universe's chemical composition, providing insight into the processes forming the first stars and galaxies. Beyond astronomy, the discovery of early massive galaxies poses philosophical questions about scientific progress and understanding. Scientific paradigms shift in response to discoveries, as evidenced by philosopher Thomas Kuhn's description of paradigm shifts, where anomalies in theories prompt major reassessments. This discovery invites cosmologists to rethink cosmic evolution, stressing the need for openness to revolutionary ideas and theory revision based on empirical evidence. In theoretical physics, these findings have renewed interest in alternative cosmological models. Some propose modifications to standard theories about dark matter and dark energy, components crucial to understanding cosmic structure. As scientific inquiry continues, this discovery underscores science's evolving nature and the need to remain open to new discoveries, even those that challenge well-established theories. Dark matter and dark energy, which together make up a significant portion of the universe's mass and energy, are fundamental to our understanding of the universe's large-scale structure and expansion. Dark matter exerts gravitational effects that help galaxies stay bound, 
influencing galaxy distribution and formation, while dark energy is thought to drive the universe's accelerating expansion. The discovery of these massive galaxies dating to the universe's early stages places new constraints on these theoretical models, as such rapid and large galaxy formation challenges existing ideas about the roles of dark matter and dark energy. Some theoretical physicists have responded to these findings by exploring alternative cosmological models. These models attempt to explain how the universe's evolution might differ from the gradual, merger-driven process that is currently accepted. For instance, some models suggest that dark matter may have different properties or distributions in the early universe than previously believed, allowing for the formation of these universe-breaker galaxies. Others propose variations in dark energy or other exotic forces that could influence the rate of galaxy formation and growth. This discovery also raises questions about whether we fully understand the universe's age and initial conditions. The fact that these galaxies appear so evolved at such an early stage could mean that either the universe is older than previously thought, or that our models for early galaxy formation need revision. Some researchers even speculate that there may have been conditions that promoted rapid formation of stars and galaxies in the universe's infancy, well beyond what is currently understood. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its ability to detect faint infrared signals, is revolutionizing our view of the early universe. It allows scientists to peer back in time by observing light that traveled billions of years to reach us. By examining the chemical makeup of early galaxies and studying the processes that led to their formation, researchers are gaining insights into the universe's formative years. This capability provides a clearer view of the cosmic dawn and the conditions that gave rise to the first galaxies. Mito Kaku has remarked on the philosophical significance of these findings, noting that scientific inquiry demands a willingness to question established theories. For Kaku and others in the field, discoveries like these embody the essence of science, which thrives on challenging assumptions and adapting to new data. In his view, the JWST findings highlight the importance of remaining open to revolutionary ideas, especially when empirical evidence defies long-standing theories. In broader terms, the discovery of these early massive galaxies exemplifies the iterative nature of scientific progress. It prompts cosmologists to re-evaluate foundational concepts, just as past discoveries reshaped our understanding of the solar system, gravity, and relativity. This process, one of observation, hypothesis, and revision, is fundamental to advancing human knowledge. While the Big Bang model remains widely supported, the JWST findings encourage scientists to explore modifications that can incorporate these new observations. As researchers continue to analyze data from the JWST, the implications for our understanding of the universe's structure, origins, and destiny grow increasingly profound. It underscores that scientific knowledge is not fixed but an ever-evolving body of understanding, shaped by the constant push and pull between theory and observation. This discovery, one of many that the JWST promises to bring, reminds us that there are still vast, uncharted territories in our knowledge of the cosmos, territories that may one day change our understanding of the universe's very nature.